Hey there, literature fans. Today, I'm diving into a fascinating topic from Spanish Golden Age literature, conceptismo. This literary movement is packed with wit, brevity, and intricate ideas, and I promise it'll be an exciting ride, so let's get started. Conceptismo emerged in the late 16th and early 17th centuries. It's all about conveying complex ideas with as few words as possible using clever wordplay and metaphors. Imagine trying to fit an entire novel's worth of depth into a single poem. That's conceptismo for you, concise yet profound. The movement is often associated with Spanish poet Francisco de Quevedo. Quevedo was a master of the art, known for his biting satire and sharp intellect. His works often explored deep philosophical and moral themes, wrapped in layers of meaning. One of his famous lines goes, We are born crying, live complaining, and die disappointed. Powerful, right? Conceptismo is all about making the reader think. Writers would use antithesis, paradox, and complex metaphors to challenge readers, pushing them to uncover deeper meanings hidden beneath the surface. It's like a mental workout, exercising your brain with every line. Now, conceptismo wasn't just about showing off intellectual prowess. It was also a reaction to the elaborate and often ostentatious style of another literary movement called culturanismo. While culturanismo favored ornate and flowery language, conceptismo stripped things down to their essence. It's a bit like comparing a minimalist painting to an intricate, detailed fresco. Quevedo often sparred with Luis de Gongora, the leading figure of culturanismo. Their rivalry was legendary, and it fueled some of the most brilliant works in Spanish literature. Quevedo's sharp, concise style was the perfect counterbalance to Gongora's elaborate, decorative approach. Think of it as the ultimate literary showdown. So why does conceptismo matter today? Well, it teaches us the power of brevity and the importance of depth in our communication. In a world where we're constantly bombarded with information, being able to convey complex ideas succinctly is a valuable skill. Plus, it's a reminder that literature can be both intellectually stimulating and deeply moving. Whether you're a fan of poetry, prose, or even modern-day tweets, the principles of conceptismo can inspire us to think and write more thoughtfully. So next time you pick up a book, or even draft a quick message, channel a bit of Quevedo's spirit. Make it meaningful, make it thought-provoking, and most importantly, make it count. Thanks for joining me on this literary journey. If you enjoyed this deep dive into conceptismo, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more literary explorations. Until next time, keep reading and keep thinking. Yeah.